So today, 131, wow. All right, January's almost gone. I agree with you. The sooner we get to spring, the better, huh? Okay, the objective. Today we're talking about um, rational exponents. Okay, and with rational exponents, the word rational, the word rational means fraction. Okay, the word rational means fraction. So what we're really looking at is fractional exponents. Okay. So, if we have a number, if we have a number, let's just call it n, any number, any number, it could be 10, could be 5, could be 8, could be x, because x represents a number, you okay with that? Could be y, because y represents some number we just don't know. If it has an exponent, p over q, okay? p over q, where this is a fraction, right? That's my fraction, okay? That can be rewritten as this is a power and this is a root okay that's my power and that's my root okay so if I rewrote this if I went from here to radical form radical means a root the word radical means root now we gotta be careful because it could be square root. Yeah, we're used to square roots, but it could also be a cube root. It could be a fourth root, fifth root, whatever. But so we're gonna call it a root. So if I transpose this from exponential form, see it's got an exponent, to radical form or root form, I'm gonna put the q on the outside like a root. And I'm gonna show you an example of this in just a second. So this an n to the power of p. Um, that's my power, whatever, there, whatever number might be, okay? Uh, yeah, I use p. I don't want to use e. I don't want to use e, I want to use p. Derek, we're going to learn that there is a number e. Like, what? There really is a number e, so we're going to stay away from you, okay? I know, Celeste, there is a number e. There really is. But I'm going to teach that to you later, okay? Huh? And e's like pi. E's a number like pi, okay? All right. So example one. You ready? So seven. Seven's my base. Seven's my base. So we're going to go seven. Two's my power. And three's my root. So we're going to go to the two-thirds. So we just rewrote it. Okay, two's my power. And three is my root. So I wrote it to the two-thirds power. Okay. Now you can do that in your calculator. You really can. But you're going to get some really ugly decimal if you wanted to. You could do it in your calculator. You go, okay, 7 to the power of 2, 2 divided by 3, right? That's 7 to the 2 thirds. And it's some really ugly decimal, but you can do it. So what we did is the same thing as the cube root of 7 squared, okay? Okay, now 5. With square root, there's some invisible numbers. There's some invisible numbers. So my invisible numbers are so 2 here that we never write. You guys okay with that? There's a 2 there for square root, but it's invisible. We never write it because we know there's a 2 there, right? And 5 has an exponent to the 1 power, okay? Again, it's invisible. We just don't normally write it. So if I want to rewrite this in exponential form, I'll write as 5 to the 1 half power. So when you see 1 half power, you're going to think square root. I'm going to write that down. little rule here, one that you're going to need to know all the way through calculus and beyond. If you see x to the 1 half power, it means the square root of x, okay? Here's my rule. When you see 1 half power, it means square root. Because the 2 could be here, invisible, and the 1 is here, invisible, okay? So when you see a 1 half power, it means square root, okay? Now, example 2. Let's change it the other way around. Okay, 6 to the 1 half power. Well, the 2 is the root. 
and the one is my power, okay? So I'd write it like this. Okay, my two goes in my root. Yeah, Cameron? On a test, would you want us to write that in there? No, you're ahead of me. Thank you. Okay, because that's kind of annoying. How about we just write square to six? Better, right? We know those, those numbers. Those are invisible. Thank you. You're like 10 seconds ahead of me. I like that. You're thinking ahead. You guys agree? I would take this. I would never mark this wrong, but you guys all agree that same thing is just square to six, right? Okay, because those are invisible numbers. Now, this one, fourth root. Okay, with me on the fourth root? Negative two to the third power, okay? All right. Root and power. Okay, ready for me to turn the paper? No. Okay, I'll wait for you. Okay. Bottom number of the fraction is your root. Top number of the fraction is your power, okay? Now we're going to flip the page. We're going to see some examples of this, okay? All right, now, this is evaluate. So, first of all, this there's two things you can do, but I want you to take my advice, okay? There's two things. You could either square 27 first, which is a really big number, right? And then cube root it, or why don't we cube root 27 first? So a cube root, okay? So what times what times what makes 27? Three. Three. Okay, let's write them down. There's a few I want you to write down. Let's write all the perfect, perfect cube roots. Let's write them down because this will help us, okay? Perfect cube roots. Let's write them down, okay? All right, one is a perfect cube root because the cube root of one is? One. Okay, that's easy, right? Cube root of eight is? Two. two. What's the next one? Cube root of? 27 is 3. Cube root of, what's the next one? 64 is 4. What's the next one? Cube root of 125 is 5. And we'll, 216. And that's probably all the further we have to go. And then we can use a calculator if we're not sure what the next ones are. Um, is 6. Okay, so what is the cube root of 27? Three, you're ahead of me, Derek, you're already there. Yeah, it is three. That's three, right? Three times three times three. And then three squared, because we still got to the squared, is nine. Okay, you guys see how I did that? Okay. Did the cube root first. So the cube root of 27, what times what times what makes 27? It's got to be three. And then don't forget the square. Three squared is nine. Okay. 32. Fifth root of 32 squared. Okay, so are you ready? What times what times what times what times what makes 32? Two. 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 Okay, it is two. So I can do it two to the two power, which is four. Okay, good. I'll let you think about that one, okay? Now the calculator can do roots. Okay, I'm going to show you real quickly before I go on to example four. So the calculator can do a lot of stuff, okay, but you got to know where to look. So I've got this button called math, okay. So if I go to my math button, go to my math button, there's a cube, but I don't want the cube. There's a cube root. See it? So I can go cube root of 27, right? And we know it's 3. You guys agree? Okay. But what it doesn't have, I'll go back to math, it doesn't have the fifth root, right? But it's got an x root. So to do this number five, I got to tell it the five first. Okay, so real quickly, if I really wanted to do the fifth root of 32 on the calculator, I'm going to go, okay, five first. Then I go to my math, and I go to the x root. So I've told it five is the x. Enter. So now it really means fifth root of 32. I get two, okay? All right, so the calculator can do a lot of these things. There's my two. All right, now, Number four. So, let's take a look at this bit by bit. Cube root of 64. I'm going to break this up into three parts, okay? And I'm going to go the cube root of x to the sixth. And I'm going to go the cube root of y to the negative 12, okay? Bring it up to three problems, okay? Three separate parts. This is a little bit harder, but we can do it, okay? Now, cube root of 64. 
four. Agree? Am I going too fast? Let me slow it down for a second, okay? Okay, four. And that's one of the ones we had up here that we listed, right? Q over 64 is four, right? Now, how about this? It is x squared. It is x squared. One way to look at it, it is x to the 6 times 1 third, or just take a third of it, right? Because x squared times x squared times x squared. x squared times x squared times x squared. Or just divide it by 3. Is that the easiest way to think about it? Just divide it by 3, x squared. And how about this one? y to the negative 4. You okay with that? And then let's fix it. One little thing. What's what's bothering me now? Turn into a fraction. Yep, fraction. Because see a negative exponent. Okay. All right. Let's look in our journal, page twenty-four. Okay. Page twenty-four. That's where our journal says. Let's see what we've got as far as problems. Okay. All right. Page twenty-four. Okay. All right, I want to go through 24 only because they ask a couple of weird questions. Um, so number one, and this is on your homework today, but what in the world are they asking, okay? 